Hello, hello everyone. Today we are going to be, we, it's just me here, um, I'm going to be unboxing the Ballot Full Packs art subscription box. This is the first one of these that I've gotten. Um, the, oh, there's a cord here. You can tell I'm new at this. Let's switch to the overhead camera and get started with the unboxing. First things first, I have the most important thing, coffee. Mmm. This is the uh, Trader Joe's coffee concentrate, which is pretty good. Mm. Anyway, not what you came here for, but I don't know what you did come here for, so me, I guess, and that's what I'm doing right now. I'm drinking coffee. And I'm opening this box. Super excited. What do we have? It's not like those foam packing peanuts that are bad for the environment. This is paper, so I assume it's fine. But this, okay, I gotta throw all this away. So that, that's cool. Hoo hoo. Okay, so excited. All right, what do we have? We have the General's Multi Pastel Compressed Chalk. So I guess these aren't charcoals. These are. Nope, these are pastels that are in gray. Oh, they're they're gray tone pastels. Multi pastel, primary colors. Soft starter set. Soft two Fs. I guess it's a brand. Paint draw blend. Okay. I like to paint draw and blend. Pan pastel two color set. That looks like makeup. It's not makeup, although I kind of want a subscription box to makeup too. Ooh, that's a nice blue. And here's the, the menu of all the things, but it's more fun to just open it up and explore and then look at it. Um, this feels kind of like, like a velvety texture. I don't know what we do with this. I guess I'll have to read the menu and ooh, a pastel sketch pad oh here you go unless you are a dedicated pastel artist i'm hardly a dedicated artist at all um this is probably a surface you've never tried before it has a unique velvet texture surface idea of ideal for pastels oil pastel crayon chalks and charcoal cool okay oh and it tells you how much everything costs apparently this is 1650 alone these two pricey but maybe maybe they'll be worth it um let's get started i don't want to use this yet because well we're gonna save that for something special all right let's get swatching so i'm gonna use this strathmore pastel paper in reading the instructions for these pan pastels, it did say that these soft, two Fs, uh, tools are made for use with these. And it says you can mix them like paint and that they erase with any eraser. So let's try it. Ooh, extra suave. I guess that just means ultra soft in another language. Start with the yellow. Now the directions said just Bring it around one to three times and yeah, looks like yellow. It said to um, clean the knife, just wipe it on a paper towel. So I'll do that before I dip into the blue. I love that. I love that. Now it also said we can erase, and it said erase with any eraser. This chair is so squeaky. So let's use this cheap dollar store eraser because it's any eraser. Whoa! That erases really well, oh my god. Awesome. That's a pleasant surprise. All right, and then it said we can blend them, so I still have the blue on here. Let's... Let's give it a blend. We'll just kind of say blend like paint. Look at that! It's making green! 
I mean, which I guess we knew what would happen when you mix yellow and blue, but like, that's so nice. I wish this camera was better. In the future, if, you know, this whole thing goes well, better supplies, but you know, we're on a budget here with this right now. All right, here these guys are. So we have the, oh, I feel like I'm gonna break up the white, which probably not gonna show up on there. Let's try. Okay, there it is, the white. Light gray. Medium gray. Ooh, and the black, that's nice. They don't feel as brittle as like sticks of charcoal that look like this. Um, conveniently, I do have these for blending stumps and reptilians. Yeah, I like that. All right, so I noticed that the palette pull pack comes with this prompt and challenge, and there's a different inspiration prompt for each week. It is week two of June, so I missed week one, but it is tired. I sketched out like a very, very faint outline. So full disclosure, the things that I'm using that are not in the palette full pack are this cheap eraser if I need it, which I probably will. Pencil. This one's real cute. It's got little toasts on it. It came from Wish. And the blending stump that you saw before but everything else is the palette full pack so that's the inspiration that's what i'm using maybe i'll color the cat with this blue color I guess that's how they get you because they send you something expensive in like two colors and then you're like, I love that thing. And then you go and buy more. Smart. And coffee. All right, so I thought I would try a trick. I think another trick that I learned from Super Ray Dizzle, which is that you can blend using little eyeshadow applicators. I would not use these for makeup because they're crap, but I bought them from the dollar store and for uh, art, yeah, I use them to blend chalk pastels once before. Like I said, I don't do a lot with pastels, but I don't know, I'm kind of getting into them. But these sponges feel pretty much like a makeup sponge. Like comparing these, they feel really similar. And while the pack that I got in the palette full packs retails for $8.50, these are a dollar. Now, yes, these are bigger and probably better, but I just thought for fun, why not try one of these? Get it all in there and Yep, works about exactly the same. I bet you could buy like a makeup wedge, like the cheap packs of makeup wedges because you don't want to get the beauty blenders because those are expensive. I mean, even at, you know, like five below, you're gonna pay a few dollars for one and this whole kit was 850 for these and all the stuff, but you could probably get a makeup wedge and get a very similar effect so I love these these are pricey but I would consider buying them these I would not I would use a makeup sponge and I bet it would turn out exactly the same like this feels like a makeup sponge I you know what hold on okay this 
is a pack of makeup sponges that I bought from Five Glow. Yes, these are, I guess, knockoff beauty blenders because, you know, I've tried all different kinds and I've had the original beauty blender. I've had different, you know, other ones that you could buy. I personally haven't noticed a big difference. This is not Liz's makeup channel, but this is Liz's channel. So, you know, all things I like. Um, but I'm going to try one of these just because, you know, I do actually want to use these for makeup. But let's feel. Let's feel. Oh, let's, they feel very similar. Yep, it's it's the same. This is fine. Like, this is totally fine. But the Pan Pastel people specifically say they want you to use these soft tools. And that's how they try to get more money out of you. I'm rambling. That's okay, because I can edit some of that out. a little something more. What else do I want to do with this? Um, I feel like I don't want to ruin it with anything else, but also it needs more. is what makes it a classic Liz art because I always love just writing things on top of things. Now that's good. Okay, now something that my friend who's like an actual artist told me I can do is to fix a pastel painting or drawing, whatever. You can spray hairspray on it. So this here is from the dollar store and if I ruin this well you've seen it it's fine the one time at the dollar store I was buying palette I'm gonna edit this out because I'm rambling and it's not a good story all right let's go for it oh my god oh my god like right here let's try I don't want to press super hard but I'm like not using a light touch and that is that is stuck. That worked. Awesome. I do want it to flatten out more, but I'll probably just lay something on top of it and, you know, like, yeah, okay. That definitely would have smudged before. That is a good trick. I just put my arm in it. Cool. All right. Okay. So that is it for